Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to do a pretty or short video on this pretty little guy. Um, something really awesome I wanted to show you guys was I'm going to come up close here and show you. This is Tim Brook. He is our registered Pasifino stallion that we were able to rescue. Um, he was severely malnourished. I know some of you probably have seen the videos already um, on him, but I want you to check out the um, area here above his eye. That was so sunken in. Um, it was deep. It was so deep. And I'll show some videos at the end. I'm sorry, pictures at the end of this video. But I want you to just look at this, how much he's been able to fill out. It's really, really such a beautiful thing to see that God has uh, restored this horse. I mean, and, and it's just a miracle, really. I mean, he was just poor, absolutely poor malnourished and, and a mess but look at him move he's able to move better now um, his top line has improved his coat everything about him has really really improved and he's gonna go for a little run walk here whatever he's doing so i'm gonna show you he's in his little paddock area he's got to stay up he can't be free to roam out into the field because he is still a stallion we are not going to geld him at this stage in his life. He's been a stallion for 26 years, so we're just going to be careful and cautious and keep him up. Um, we do have some plans to possibly breed him to a mare. Um, we rescued her, and things are going great. So if that's the case, then we will do so. But if not, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But as you can see, he wants to go visit everybody. I'm just so thankful, so thankful for him because this horse has such a great story for our family. He's been a part of our lives for a long time. And um, when I got him back, I was afraid that he was not going to make it, but God has seen it through. And um, he still is getting fed three to four times a day. He gets soaked bee pulp grains. He's getting a 14% feed, pelletized feed, Mana Pro, Triple Crown, Omega-3 oils, um, a hoof supplement now. We're giving him a hoof supplement to help his feet. They're in really good condition. I don't know if you know much about Pasifinos as a whole, but they have really good feet, typically speaking. Um, these are the horses that I grew up on. This is the breed. So I know quite a bit about the breed as a whole. I absolutely love to ride them. They are a companion horse through and through. We're so thankful. Look at his neck. I mean, he's, he's 26 years old and, you know, we've had some old horses here. But I'm so thankful that he was able to be this age and make that type of recovery. We got him on October 27th, and uh, today is March the 10th. So you can see that in just about four and a half months, the improvement that this horse has, has made. It's not been an easy feat though, I have to say. We've worked hard as a family to make sure this guy has what he needs. My dad and mom have helped with his nutrition needs um, financially, and my family has all pulled together. My children have worked hard. There's been a couple times that Todd and I were so sick we couldn't even get out here to to do chores um, at night. You know, we still have to come out and feed him late at night. He gets fed at nine o'clock every day, and our son, who's just seven years old, put a headlamp on and came out and fed him up, made sure he had what he needed. He did that twice for us now. Um, and that's been, it's just been such a beautiful thing. Honestly, guys, I'm so proud of my kids. I'm so proud of my family. And I'm so thankful for this horse. So you guys say hi, Tim Brooke. You wanna stop pacing the field? You know, he's a, he's a stud, so he's a little, you can see where he's looking. That's where all the girls are at. We've got a double fence between him and the girls, so um, he can't get in there. Look at his neck and his top line. Pasif 
Filipinos are a beautiful breed. They're really a unique horse. They have such a wonderful gait. It's smooth. He's got some old bloodlines in him that come from the older stock that is more of a pleasure trail type stock. They are flashy and they're fancy, but it's not that super, super quick, fast stepping that you'll see sometimes on shows and videos and stuff like that where they're going across the board and it They've got a little longer reach. His bloodline does. So they're great for trail riding. They're great for cow horses. They're just really smart. They have a very old, old history where they started from. And that's why I love the Andalusian horses too, because they are part of this breed. Hi, buddy. Come on. Hey. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. Love you, sweet boy. Well, guys, thanks for watching my video today. It's a little quiet and calm. Um, we have, I got a sick hubby. So I'm taking care of kids, taking care of our animals, making sure we got groceries for the week. It's been a busy Sunday, but I wanted to send it, uh, set out, ooh, post a video for everyone to see how things are going on the Elrod farm. We're still over here just rescuing and keeping these horses safe and sound. We thank you guys so much. Again, I just wanna say thank you. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your love, your kindness, the prayers, all the good stuff. I will be doing an update on Boaz. I've got some super fun news about him and I will definitely get that up and posted soon. So here are the photos of Tim Brooke the day that we brought him home. This was October 27th, 2023. So you can see here through these that he was just extremely, extremely poor, um, malnourished and in terrible condition. But there's a happy ending.